Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Fe plus AgNO3. This is iron metal, and this is silver nitrate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two of these nitrate ions here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the AgNO3. Now we have two nitrates, but we have two silvers. That's easy enough to fix. We'll put a two here. And that balances the molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Iron, that's a solid. And then nitrates are very soluble. So we'll put an AQ after each of the nitrates. And then silver, that's a metal as well. This is a single displacement reaction, single replacement reaction, where the iron replaces the silver. So we have our states. Now we can split our strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation for Fe plus AgNO3. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants, I can see two nitrate ions right here. And again, in the products, these are spectator ions. We can cross these out, but everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Fe plus AgNO3. Let's clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our net ionic equation for iron plus silver nitrate. You'll note that the charge is balanced. We have two times one plus. We have a two plus in the reactants. Then we have a two plus over here in the product. So charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for iron plus silver nitrate. Thanks for watching.